Here's another lesson in how making assumptions can cause you to miss the real problem. This is a problem I hadn't seen in a uh, 7A26 before. When you vary the position, the gain varies. There seems to be like a dead zone in the middle for the position control. And the gain varies as a function of the position. You can see it's a little bit nonlinear over the whole range. Okay, here's some more data points. This is add mode. The input is actually 100 millivolts, but the gain is way lower than it should be. Only channel one's uh, position control is effective. Channel two position isn't effective. It's disabled in add mode. But the gain is way less than it should be. And it's not a, not a function of position. <clears throat> the identify actually increases the gain slightly instead of moving the trace. Um, since it was a position-related problem, I assumed the cause was between U2450 and U2550. These are tech part number 1550078-10 in a 16-pin mini-pack pill-like package. Eight of them are used in the 7A26. I swapped U2450 and U2550 for their counterparts in channel 1 and the problem did not change. I focused on the parts in the position control circuitry. I checked Q2470 and Q2490, which were socketed, and both were good. I checked all the resistors and diodes around them, but found no problems. The voltage at points 10 and 11 was about 3 volts, instead of the 7 it should have been. I removed Q2470 and 2490. The voltage was now correct, and the gain was correct. In this case, setting the mode to add and using the channel 1 position control was necessary because the channel 2 position control was now disabled. At first I could not see the source of the pull-up current for the output of Q2450. It comes through U2750 and U2550 and is ultimately supplied by R2703, R2701, and R2705. The first two were okay, but R2705 measured 330 ohms instead of 169. Replacing R2705 cured the problem. <laughs>